Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. A little bit of Kiwiana in this video as I turn this little Matchbox Racing Mini into the Mini from the classic 1981 New Zealand movie Goodbye Pork Pie. In this movie, two guys end up driving all the way from Auckland to Invercargill in a stolen rental Mini. This is basically the entire length of New Zealand and they're getting chased by the cops along the way. It's a really great watch. I recommend it. They also did a recent remake of it. I'm going to be using this little Matchbox Super Fast Racing Mini. These were produced from 1971 until 1976. This one's not in too terrible condition. Unfortunately there's a little crack in the rear windscreen but it's not too bad. The paint's a little chipped. I've got ones in much nicer condition. Nice solid metal base there. The wheels are a little worn but they're quite small so I'm still going to reuse them. I've got a cool trick to make them look a bit nicer. There's only one post holding this car together so I drill that out. Now I can take it apart. They're nice, these old metal bottomed cars, they usually come apart really easily. I use some poly stripper to remove the paint. And then I can give it a clean up with the wire brush on my rotary tool. There's no paint on the base here so all I have to do is pop the wheels out and then I can give that a clean up as well. And here are our castings after burnishing. Taking a closer look at the body of the car here, we can see a few little imperfections on the surfaces and a couple of little bits of flashing on the inside of the windows. So I'll give that all a clean up with a file and some sandpaper. There's some casting lines on the front panels here, which I don't think are supposed to be there, so I'll get rid of them as well. They're looking a bit smoother now. Notice that there's a little bit of the body lining missing from the right hand side at the base here. So I'm just going to replace that. I use a bit of tape to mask a little trench where I want the lining to be replaced. Now I'm going to fill it with some strong epoxy putty. And once this is cured, I can remove the tape, leaving a little thin strip. Now 
Now I just tidy this up carefully with a file and some sandpaper. So now that I'm happy with the body of the car, I give it a clean with some isopropyl and then hit it with a white primer. I then painted it yellow with a little bit of white in it just to make it a bit of a lighter yellow. I paint in some details on the car. There's actually not that many details on this little model. I made myself some little pork pie decals to go on the sides. And I finish it all with some gloss varnish. While that's drying, I can move on with the interior. It's a bit grubby, so I gave it a wash in some hot soapy water. I paint the interior with white primer and then a dark red. I'll just detail the steering wheel here. The windscreen was pretty good. I just gave it a quick polish onto the base now. It's a super clean casting, so all I need to do is paint it. I start with dark steel and then I painted the grill in chrome. I add a dark wash to the base. And I add some wash to the grill and the license plate. And I finish the base with some silver weathering powder. I fix this all with a satin varnish. There is a little horn on the top of the Mini, so I'm going to use one of the horns from this old car transporter. I cut it off and then glue a little piece of styrene to the back. It's then undercoated with black and finished with chrome. I'm going to make a little wee aerial. They used to have little pennant flags for the different towns at the service stations and it was common for people on a road trip to buy the little flags and put them on their aerials. So I'm going to make a couple of little tiny flags to go on this one. Painted one red and one blue. 
And finally, these old wheels. Now, I would have liked to have replaced them with aftermarket ones, but I just don't have any this small. So instead, I'm just going to put these nice round hubcaps onto them. There, that's looking a lot better. So here are all the parts of our little mini refurbished, repainted and ready to go back together. However, just before we take a look at our finished car, let's take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. A pretty stock standard Matchbox Racing Mini, looking fairly worn out with its chipped paint job and tired looking stickers. So let's see if we can do it up and send it on a crazy car chase the length of New Zealand. And here it is, our finished Goodbye Pork Pie Austin Mini. With its nice new yellow paint job, a horn on top, some nice looking new tyres, some detailing added, the pork pie written on the side, and its little aerial sporting a couple of pennant flags. Oh, I've really enjoyed this project and I was super happy with how it came out actually. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend it. It's a pretty classic piece of Kiwi cinema from the 80s. I also recommend Smash Palace. Or maybe you have seen the movie and hopefully it'll bring back some memories. Or maybe you used to own a little mini or stole a little mini. It's always great to hear people's memories in the comments. I now give a big welcome to all of my new subscribers and a big thanks to everyone for the comments and likes on my videos. An extra special thanks to my awesome Patreon subscribers. If you'd like to join them supporting the channel, you can check out my Patreon page. There's a link in the description below. And that just leaves me to say thanks heaps for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.